Hello guys, I'm the author of Team Cookie Mapper. On this video I'm going to show you how to remotely control another Android device uh, from your telephone or um, yeah, another tablet. Um, this is also possible between an Android device and a Windows or a Linux server. Uh, in this case I'm going to show you how to remotely control the Mojo, uh, the Marcats Mojo, which is a really nice uh, Android console. Also, um, I'm going to uh, use for the purpose of the demonstration the telephone attached to a uh, CTRLR uh, uh, Madcats uh, uh, gamepad, which is a really cool uh, gamepad, works very well. Um, so, uh, essentially, uh, on the server side, so on the server of the device you want to control remotely, like the module, you just need to be sure that on the mapper you go to settings and the net. Mm, oh, collapse, yeah. And make sure a server is enabled. So this will allow incoming connections from other Android devices. The server is running. If you uncheck the server stops, uh, you check the server is running. So this means that other um, um, versions of the mapper that are running on a telephone or a tablet will be able to find, uh, in this case, the Mojo. Uh, you just need to apply this configuration. And now, in the case of the telephone, if you can see it properly. Um, you just need to start the mapper, for instance. Okay. And now, essentially, when you do a device discovery, you only have to do this once. Make sure that remote PC Android servers is checked. Then you do the discovery, and after a few seconds, the first time can take longer, you will see that's finding some uh, servers. And the server show here on the first uh, um, drop down. So local means your own device, like in this case the telephone, and the other IP addresses are uh, addresses of the found remote uh, devices. So in this case, I know is this one. So I just check it, and this would mean that any interaction. Any, any mapping that's generated on this uh, telephone would be sent to the remote server. So, also, I'm going to show you now a new uh, component that I created because we were talking about that uh, on the XDA forums and is the possibility to use your uh, telephone touch screen as a touch screen of the uh, in this case, this, this uh, console no? that doesn't have a touch screen itself. So for that, you um, first of all find your uh, touch screen device on the on the telephone. In this case, is insect touch screen. You see here uh, this icon that shows is a touch screen. Um, then you select here, for instance, multi touch direct. Then you will see these two um, uh, corners. So you make them take the size you want. It, they can even take the full the full screen if you want or maybe a bit smaller and what this means is that uh, the touches in this uh, area oh, um, the touches in this area will be sent as full screen touches to the remote uh, device so essentially I just accept and now I hope you can see it when I touch here, you see touches on the on the on the uh, television, right? Uh, it's also multi-touch, so you can do several, and it's very responsive as long as the network is working fine. I found that in the module, the Wi-Fi is not very uh, is not very. Uh, 
uh, was a bit slow, but uh, connected through wire is, is, is really, I can see no, um, no lag. Uh -huh. uh, you are probably hearing something and it's the haptic feedback also that I added in the latest version of the application. So essentially uh, that's it. And here I can come back to the editor and at the same time of course you can use the, the gamepad controls. Okay, I hope this has been useful. Have a nice day. Cheers.